Amanda! 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 Viva! Viva! Latina! Viva! Viva! Well, compliments of the city, everybody. Honorable platform, yes. My young friend, the recent speaker, Uzi Heron. Friends. Allow me to introduce to you the young man in the diaspora with me, a leading role in the struggle for the democratization of Latvia. We grew up in this country, as a matter of fact, I grew up in Peaceville, and later moved on to Moria Town. I attended John Lewis Forest School down the hill. And in our period of growth, one of the crimes we committed was to associate with others. Fellow students, boys and girls, men and women in Liberia, uh, we advanced the revolutionary project. So in that period, we ran away from the enemy in order to survive the struggle. But I'm glad today that you can struggle in OPA. How? We are I was supposed to keep so intense. That a national dimension, which is the basis of struggle, was not sufficient. We have introduced a transnational dimension. So, as you struggle for political freedom, for economic freedom, you must understand that the space for a period in which you struggle. It's limited. It was built solidarity with Liberians on the other side, with revolutionaries on the other side, with progressives on the other side. One of those who have played a key role in that regard on our side in the Liberian context, in the diaspora, in our transnational struggles, is Jacob Senior Park. Welcome to Minnesota, United States of And Kwate is here to observe our reality. You know, to help us recalibrate the way in which the diaspora can be more effective in prosecuting the National Democratic Revolution in Latvia. Sir. I was asked in a letter of invitation uh, to talk about revolution around the world. But then when I saw the program, this man to speak about political revolution. They may appear at different topics, but they are one and the same thing, though. However, the two of them are big topics, which it is not possible to exhaust uh, in the space of 30 minutes that has been given to me. But it is possible. To say something about revolution 
the ground and war about political revolution because even though the struggle with every country is unique, the nature of revolution everywhere in the world, the nature of political revolution is basically Human beings have the same basic needs. One a place in which to live, one food, one good clothing, one respect, one living dignity, one our government to provide better social services, and of course. What are they to do? Anywhere in the world, when the basic needs of human beings are violated, they will rise and fight.
Wewe mwana wa Yesu alikuwa Tara poleto na kurusha kila dia tefu is consummated in a process in which there is the linkage, the interrelationship, the marriage, the interconnection between political freedom and economic justice. What is revolution there for? Revolution is fundamental change. When you make revolution, you can see the degree of change. Revolution, revolution is not necessarily the ability to shock moral slogans. Revolution is not necessarily the ability to sing songs that impact the masses. Revolution is a process of fundamental social, economic, political change in society. Having said that though, the history of every country is unique. And the revolutionary process in a particular society, for example, like Liberia, may experience advances, reverses. It may experience hopes, frustrations. It may move in a zigzag fashion as it always does. Yet, fundamental change in a society anywhere in the world is inevitable. The problem with we the human beings is that we equate our, bio, our biographies with political history. Even though the history of any country, any individual, is related to movement of war history. No doubt. At the appropriate time, I will make myself available. Since you base your movement on an ideology that is um, constructed in radical science, to clarify some of these concepts of tourist view. Revolution has to come. What are we like here or not? And declare or undeclared? Nobile or nobile? This is the eve of the revolutionary movement in Latvia. This is the eve of the Latvian revolution because we have now never ever seen the contradiction as sharp as it is. <laughs> it follows laws. You subscribe to an ideology that follows laws in philosophy. One of such laws is the law of motion. Society is dynamic. And that auto dynamism of society may not be observed. It nonetheless is a reality. Change is always possible. Everything is in a state of flux. Society changes. That is key. Whether you like it or not. There is the law of the negation of the negation. Mm -hmm. That we say, every subject has its sound, every subject has its language. The same way in which such individuals came together and insisted they needed to replace the unity party was a ruling party that was not um, functioning in accordance with the expectations of the Latvian people. What about hope or crow? And I know in life I was by crow. <laughs> because this government was important. There is no evidence that the election is free and fair. If they bring that into open debate, 
open the book so they can see the reality and the, uh, the facts. It is the same way in which if the government fails to function, it will be replaced. And we do not know for a fact. What we do not know is the time during which it will be replaced. Because the decadence of the administration is so glaring that they'll start the rhetoric of the official administration is like some giant conflict. It can be triggered anytime.
that wants to set the people of this country, you can be sure that the enemies of the people will join their allies and run fighting. Never forget that. They have been in Guyana, they have been in Chile, they have been in Guatemala, they have been in Germany, they even have been in the United States. When you go to these liberal conservative schools like the University of Liberia, they teach you a world resource, five stages of development. The transition, transitional, take off, uh, the uh, drive to technological uh, maturity, issue of high mass consumption, all that thing. Sorry for the expression. Bullshit. <laughs> The science to which you subscribe, because you say you are leftist, has given us historical materialism as a tool for the analysis of the development of society. And because of time constraint, I will not uh, elaborate. Nevertheless, what we do know is that all over the world, People experienced communalism. And we have evidence that there was communalism in Africa. And there's communalism still in parts of Africa. The situation in which people are basing themselves on subsistence agriculture, they are not in a position to be able to produce much more than they can consume. So they are not in a position, therefore, in order to make profit out of their capacity. When there is improvement in their ability to produce, when they have produced simple instruments and machines, and when it is possible to be able to have a few persons produce what a community can consume, then you have other engaged in other kinds of activities, you have advanced to feudalism. Africa did experience feudalism. As in Europe, the, the Americas, and what have you in Asia. From feudalism, Europe experienced capitalism. And later, Eastern Europe experienced socialism. Why is it that it is possible for human beings to move from one social economic system to the other? In society, in terms of political economic analysis, we have what we call the means of labor. Those are the instruments, the tools, the vehicles, cars, machines to which human beings apply their labor to the objects of labor. And those objects of labor are the, in, the things in nature that human beings use to produce wealth. Whether it's iron ore, whether it is the lumber, the plants, the bush, the trees here and there, what else you can you know? The ground. When you put the means of labor and the objects of labor together, they give you the means of production. But if you combine the means of production with human labor power, they give you the forces of production. But ownership of the means of production is the basis of all fundamental inequality. So when you talk about the rich and the poor, the rich get rich, the poor get rich, as I said, who wants the means of production in a society? That is object of labor plus means of labor. All that the poor agreements have, you say you want to work for the working class, you have to understand their situation. All they have is their labor power. Even if they produce so much wealth, they are only paying their social and necessary labor time. The time that is required for them to survive in order to go back to work. But they are not paying in such a way as to help them improve their lives. They are not paying in such a way as to make them they have poor houses and they to go to school and what have you. They are paying for their social and necessary labor time. But those are categories for the local economy that we can find that we can explain in detail to you about them and then some of the jobs. So then, why you may have the full system of production, people please enter into a relationship in society in order to produce wealth and meet the survival. That relationship in which they enter is called the social relationship of production. 
when you force the production to battle the relations of production, you have the social economic system. So if you want to struggle in the revolution, you have to understand the forces of production, relations of production, the class of society, and the economic relations of production society. But the relations of production are always conservative. Maybe your government, your legal system, your religious social system, and all of you all around here. They are important. In political economy, we call them the superstructure. Why the economy is the base, called the substructure. Why the political legal system is prevailed over all other systems, what in the society. In the last analysis, it is the economic system that determines what we need in society. What a moral behavior, corrupt attitude, and that everything else to society is determined by the economy. That is why your attack on the economic question that you appears to be a very important. The African experience was not a, like the European or American experience. Africa experienced communalism. Africa experienced um, feudalism. But in the process of the economic development of Africa, the political economic history of Africa was aborted by the transatlantic slave trade. 20 million people from Senegal are growing ally alone. Slaves taken from all West Africa in the South African region. How do you expect that people to develop economically when you make it war and then you're going to take their young men, their strong men, to, to carry into slavery? Slavery was replaced by colonialism. And colonialism was manipulated in such a way as to produce no colonialism. And don't mind this backward analysis that all the Liberia was never colonized in the classical classic sense of the world. Whether classical, whether non classical, Liberia was an American colony in West Africa. The problem is that we have not decolonized. You have to know first that you are a colony in order to struggle and decolonize. It is a problem of mental. Uh, degradation, the problem of mental domination, <laughs> that's still being lost out. We are confronted with a big problem that must be taken seriously. It is not a problem that can be solved only by people for a particular issue. But it is a problem that can be taken up and solved by the people with the correct ideology of struggle. We have experimented with young people in government, women in government, civilians in government, the military in government, um, and who have you? They all kill the society. Why? Because there is no proper understanding of the political history and economic history of the country. There is no proper instrument of struggle based on an ideology that is effective. Is reflecting uh, this uh, battle system that needs to be replaced, actually. So, what we have in Liberia, therefore, is a form of elite democracy, competition between the elite, and they're trying to restrain more and more to those who have money, and they pretend that the people have appeared in the political space and they are really participating in democracy. That is a lie. <laughs> If the serious about democratic particip participation and public participation of the people in the democratization of Nigeria give us economic justice. That is why our hit visa history should not be ignored. Both call for accountability, a complete audit of the corrupt early government. We must ensure that this 
George Bia va remettre 40 ans et je continue à ce ministre corrupt. We have no more time. Enough is enough. We must stand up for a world transfer, an economic transfer. And you don't have to bring people to jail or call for the them in jail. Right? Stay away from them. Deprive them of stolen money and wealth. Take away from them all the buildings. Why do you think that somebody who is okay part with getting all the land and getting all the houses can get you a credit reform or land reform? That's the purpose. The revolution in Liberia, we could have been made a revolution in Liberia. The revolution in Liberia can never ever be made by banished the Scots. 